headed out of Dead Lake today, down by you cannot. And this little creek I found, it's about six miles one way, so I got a lot of paddling to do today. Not gonna not gonna be fishing quite as hard as I normally would, mostly paddling in preparation for a tournament that I have here in a few weeks. Just trying to see what I can see and maybe catch just a few fish, but I don't want to work them too hard. So we're just getting started with this evergreen shower blows. Just now getting kind of first line a little bit. got a good current situation here you can't necessarily see it but there's a little creek and the falling tide has it sucking water out of there and that's where we're going to be working that top water around First fish came out of Dead Lake and it told me what I, all I need to know from here. Um, now I need to start paddling towards that creek that I marked on the map and so I can see what it looks like before it gets too late in the day. So I'm just headed south through Bayou Cannot until I get there. Finally made it to the creek I'm trying to get to, or have been trying to get to, about six miles from Dead Lake. It looks pretty good from the mouth of it. I don't know exactly how far it goes back or what it's got in it. A little bit of a run to get here, so I don't know if I would do this on the tournament day. I picked up one bass on this top water, this evergreen shower blows 77.7. This morning in Dead Lake. So let's see what happens. It's still a little bit shady in here, so I'm starting with this Top water still staying with the top water. Oh. Well, not a good cast. I'm going to put away the uh, shower blows here for a little while. And I'm going to throw the Shimano Arma Joint. I've been really excited to throw this lure ever since I bought it several months ago. And I actually bought a Corrado 301 and a heavy action chubby rod just, just to be able to throw this bait because I don't really throw heavy lures very often. And uh, I don't necessarily expect to catch anything with it in this small little canal, but you never know. And these are going to be my first casts with it. So I'm just, just trying to learn the bait a little bit. My word, what a sploosh. After about 20 minutes, I have learned that giving your reel handle quarter turns will give it a good, nice walking action. And it is not recommended to try and cast it one-handed because the bait's too heavy and the rod's too heavy and you will hurt your wrist. Two hands are required. I've 
use that arma joint for about 30 minutes. That's enough learning that bait. Now I'm going to use a more practical bait, a crawfish colored pogo shad. It's a lipless crankbait with a little tail on it. Okay. I got one, there's one, I got one. On the pogo shed. On the pogo shed. Get in this boat, fella. Go. Oh, I'm on a log. Alright, so it's 923 right now. Got one bass on the um, evergreen shower blows, bluegill color. Caught one fish on this. Uh, you call it fire crawl now. I don't know what it was called back in the day, but pogo shad. It's orange crawfish color. <clears throat> now I'm about to push down to a gas line that's right over here. I haven't been to any of these places yet before and see what it's all about. It looks like it just kind of goes straight in. Hasn't been a great day for action, but we're really just exploring today in preparation for that tournament. Color difference right there, brown to like chuck well. Brown ish shop. I'm gonna get close to y'all and toss this hat in there. Caught his, caught his hat floating down. I appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Well, I hope y'all's luck improves. Made <laughs> <laughs> right it all the way back to the end of this canal. Pretty much stopped. Splits off in different directions, but it doesn't go very far. Fish. Ah, Maybe another hour before I head back. And I'm going to be using the Peter Johnson rig. This uh, bass jig shoved inside of a tube. Oh my gosh, goggle eye on the first cast. Goodness. Huh. You know, I mean, I guess that works out. Good little goggly. So my GoPro started to overheat in this little section and I eventually just stopped turning it back on. I caught one more bass on my way back through Bayou Cannot on that Peter Johnson tube. Uh, my closing thoughts, this is a great place. It's just too far for a kayaker to uh, comfortably fish in a tournament and then make it back to ramp before times was up. So I'll have to leave this place to the boaters. But I learned a lot today and I had fun exploring. So thank you for checking this video out and sticking with it to the very end. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.